The Amazon fires could destroy the planet and might teach us some lessons. Check this out, leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Tom Harmon here with you and uh, Dr. Mark Plotkin is the co-founder and president of the Amazon conservation team, amazonteam.org. He's the author of several books, um, including his most recent, The Killers Within, The Deadly Rise of Drug-Resistant Bacteria. Uh, Bioneers, he's going to be speaking about Bioneers. His Twitter handle is Doc Mark Plotkin, P-L-O-T-K-I-N, or Amazon Team Org. And uh, Dr. Plotkin, welcome to the program. I understand you also have a newer book coming out. Uh, what's the title of that? It's out from Oxford Press. It's called The Amazon, What Everyone Needs to Know. Ranges from ayahuasca to climate change and everything in between. Cool. Okay, so here in the in the West, um, you know, I, I I woke up this morning uh, coughing. My lungs are still not fully recovered from the uh, week long experience we had here in Portland, where the smoke from the fires, you know, much of our state was on fire, and the smoke was so dense. Uh, one day, I actually did my show wearing an, a KN95 mask because my my lungs and my throat were so raw. Um, the water exhaust pipe from our heating system. Um, that drains, you know, the the AC condensate out. Actually, that condensate it was so full of these particles that it burned through the copper pipe and was leaking into the wall. I mean, <laughs> this is this is just awful stuff. But how do when you've got massive forest fires going on, and more to come as a result of climate change, and you're trying to engage in conservation, you know, and you're trying to 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 protect or or make healthy your forests? How do we do that, and what can we learn from the people of the Amazon, the people that you are so closely connected to, about this? Well, Tom, you've been a champion of climate change, and I think the world is incredibly waking up to this, for better or worse, and mostly for worse. And when we see forests burning down in the Amazon, we think, well, we got our own problems at home because we've got forest fires in California. We've got forest fires in Napa, endangering the world's wine supply. But the shamans with whom I work say it's all the same thing. It's all connected. Some people on your show, we call this the butterfly effect. What happens there affects us here and vice versa. Yeah. So so what what lessons can we learn from how indigenous people in the Amazon are dealing with this? Or is it that they are as helpless in the face of this uh, this climate change induced these climate change induced wildfires as we appear to be? Well, Tom, we work with a group called the Kogis in Colombia, some of the most traditional people in the world. And they've been talking about their glaciers melting for 30 years. Nobody listened. Mm -hmm. But this is the price we pay by not listening. Because these people are closer to the earth, they're better stewards of the earth, and we need to listen to them when they're sounding the alarm. Because the result of that is the fires in Napa, uh, the fires in the boreal forest in the north, the fires in the Amazon. So uh, what do we do? Well, we need to be better stewards of our planet, not just our country, not just our state, because we all interconnected. Right. I'm talking more about this uh, this afternoon at 3 p.m. PST uh, on a webinar I'm doing on the Amazon and what it means for us. So you can check mm -hmm. that out on our Facebook page, AmazonTeam.org. And then I'll be talking about this more extensively at the upcoming Bioneers Conference. So I hope people will tune in from that. But the bottom line is we need to be better citizens of our own planet, better citizens of the Arctic, better citizens of the temperate zone where we live, better, uh, better stewards of the, of the rainforest as well. And, and what steps make us, what things that we can do make us better, better stewards? I would say the first thing is for people to get involved. You know, conservation begins at home, but it's a global situation that's interconnected. So reforestation everywhere is always good. Uh, better protection of endangered species at the current administration, one of their many, many, many stupid moves, as you pointed out, have been trying to gut the protection for these things. Better protection of human rights, because ultimately protecting the environment is about protecting us. That's what we believe at the Amazon Conservation Team and the conservation world, the rest of the conservation world, and hopefully now the government is waking up to as well.